I'm going to show you today how to be able to insert voice comments into Google Docs that your student, students turn into you. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you are using Chrome as your internet browser. And then you're going to go down to the web store, which is at the bottom right of the screen. And you are then going to search the store for learn.ly. And the first app that shows up is Voice Comments from Learnly. This is the app that we want to add to Chrome. And I have actually already added it to my computer. And you can see it back here when um, we're on our main page. Right here, it looks like this microphone. And when you first go to install it, it's going to ask you if it's okay that it access your like microphone or your camera or whatever and just say yes then what you'll do is you'll click on it and it's gonna ask which Google account you want it to use and I have um, I'm gonna be using a Google document that was shared with my personal email so I'm gonna click that one and it's requesting permission to view basic information add itself into a Google Drive etc you need to choose allow access and now it's been installed and it gives you a video that you can watch on how to give voice to comments but I'm gonna go ahead and go to my Google Drive I actually already have that open right here and the document I want to use is this first document right here this was a lab report that one of my students turned into me at the beginning of the school year so you're gonna check the checkbox next to the document and instead of just clicking on the assignment to open it, we need to do it this special way. So you click on the checkbox, and you go up to More, and you choose Open With. And um, I don't want to open it with Google Docs. I want to actually open it with the um, special app. And so I need to connect my app right now. And so I'm going to search for Learnly, and I'm going to now connect it. So now when I go back to open with, oops, okay. So now it should be here. If I go back to open with, I can open with voice comments. And it takes a minute for it to open, but here is the document that the student turned in. And again, it has some kind of warnings for you. I'm gonna allow Learnly to access my camera and my microphone. I'm going to choose remember so it doesn't ask me this again in the future. And I'm going to press close. So right now I'm looking at the document and I can highlight um, different things that I want as I record. So I'm going to choose a yellow highlighter. It's recording right now. So I can make comments and I can say that in the procedures the procedures here need to be listed in numerical steps. So it needs to say like a bulleted list with numbers. So number one, put Daphne on the slide. Number two, put 0.1% soda solution on the first Daphne, etc. And then I can go to other parts. Um, it looks like um, her data is not in a data table here. So I can tell the student to put data in a data table. And then I'm going to press stop. Now I can listen to what I wrote as I record. So I'm going to choose a yellow highlighter. It's recording right now. So I All right, so you get the idea. It recorded my voice. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this with the collaborators. And so a link to the voice comments has been added to the Google Doc. And so now myself, as well as the collaborator, the student who shared the document with me, can um, listen to these comments by going to the comment section of the Google Doc, and I'll show you how to do that. So now this time I'm going back to the Google Doc itself, and I'm just going to open it up as a Google Doc. And where you would find the comments are up here in the top right corner. So if you click on comments, it says click to view voice feedback. And it'll open up a new window, and the student can then listen and play um, the recording that I just made.